Hey, Vrendo, Steve here. Welcome back to Wrestle Juice. So The Rock dropped a 21 plus minute promo on Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, this whole bloodline story heading into WrestleMania. It was all kinds of awesome. And I figured I would just go ahead and do a quick video talking about it really quick. Give you guys my thoughts. Smackdown is probably happening right now as this video is going live on the channel. I don't know what's happening on SmackDown. I'm not here to talk about that. Either they're going to set up a Cody Rhodes rock match, which I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of more interested in seeing right now besides instead of Cody Rhodes and, and Roman Reigns. Uh, I love that the rock talks shit about Seth Rollins. I'm sure he'll probably show up on SmackDown tonight too. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe they'll set up the tag match. Maybe they'll set up a singles match. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But uh, I'm going to talk about the actual promo that rock dropped just on his phone, him shooting the 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 shooting from the hip. Uh, they did a little bit of editing, splicing in some moments that he was talking about. But otherwise, this seems to be like 21 minutes and like 40 seconds of just the rock unfiltered. And Cody Rhodes did offer a response on social media again. I'm pretty sure he's gonna respond to it as well on SmackDown tonight. I don't know what's happening from when I'm filming this in about 40 minutes. So I'm interested to watch that. And then I'll talk about all that stuff on going in raw on Monday. Cause that's how we do it. But this is about rocks promo. Cause it dropped about five hours ago. So I thought I'd talk about it. If, of course it drops like an hour after like Larson and I start, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. After we started the going in raw podcast for today. So we just barely missed it. Basically when we stopped is when he uploaded it. I didn't even know it was there for like two hours. Cause I had to take, my kid to the dentist. Anyways, um, I have a couple bullet notes from the actual promo itself in case you guys haven't seen it or you want me to run it down for you. So the first two minutes is just him talking about how there's excitement back in pro wrestling for the first time in decades because of The Rock. More people are paying attention to it. That's kind of true. That promo that he dropped on Twitter alone was already up to 3 million views by the time I got around to it, which was like three hours, I think, after it had come out, maybe four hours after it had come out. He's bringing more eyes to the product. He's being, bringing excitement to the product. I don't think that can be doubted at this case. I've, I've just anecdotally speaking, I've had other people who don't pay attention to wrestling come to me and be like, hey, The Rock is, in, is, is back in WWE. He's doing some cool stuff. I love the fact that he seems to be bringing some passion, some creativity, and some excitement to this role that he's in right now. Um, it does seem like throwing movie level money at the rock. He seems really excited about owning the rock trademarks, by the way, because apparently he owns people's champion jabroni, maybe SmackDown, but maybe a SmackDown hotel. I don't know. Um, but he really does seem invested. In fact, Larson and I did a video where we reacted to a bunch of the friendos hot takes over at the friendo club wrestling channel. And one of the friendos, and again, it's hot takes. So it's supposed to be controversial opinions said, I don't think the rock is invested in this story heading to WrestleMania. And Lars and I laughed that one off because it seems clear to me that he is totally invested in this story. He wants to make this the biggest WrestleMania or WrestleManias of all time. They have an opportunity here to tell like a two to three year story and given that he's being paid at least $30 million, plus he gets ownership of his own trademarks uh, related to the name The Rock, uh, you got to think that he's probably pretty happy about that and he's willing to invest the time and effort it takes to make this really, really special. So I agree with The Rock here, man. The first two minutes of this promo, he's talking about how there's excitement back in pro wrestling, especially WWE. I agree with that. He says, he turns though, and he says, but I'm sick of the bullshit. He showed a... <laughs> He showed a clip from Busted Open, the uh, the, the podcast, the Sirius XM show, of David LaGreca in a bathrobe <laughs> complaining to Bubba Ray and Mark Henry about Bully Ray, whatever, um, about The Rock. And he's talking about, uh, Rock talks about Cody Crybabies, uh, and he's sick of some of the jabronis in the locker room uh, who are, I guess, jealous of The Rock or not happy The Rock's there. He talks about how Cody Rhodes shit the bed last year at WrestleMania. Uh, and then he did something that we've all been asking for. He spilled the beans on the conversation between Cody Rhodes and The Rock, which led up to Cody letting The Rock in at WrestleMania. And he said that it was a conversation. I said, listen, Cody, I know you've got this spot at the Royal Rumble, but you can finish your story another time. If you know what's best for the business, allow The Rock to take that spot at WrestleMania. It's the biggest WrestleMania of all time. 
And Cody agreed, maybe reluctantly. And he said, it stings, but I agree with you, Rock. I want to do this for the business. And uh, and then he mentions the bit at SmackDown where he hugs the Rock and he says, but then instead of looking at the Rock with a, hey, let's go do this, you looked at the Rock like he just ran over your goofy ass dog. And at that point, I took exception because Pharaoh does not seem like a goofy ass dog. I've seen plenty of goofy ass dogs in my life. Pharaoh is not one of them. In any event, I'm going to leave that one alone. So anyways, he talks about how Cody was sulking walking away from The Rock, and then when the Vegas press event came, Cody didn't bother to man up and talk to The Rock in private about what was said. Uh, Instead, and he replayed the footage from the press event, he said, this is bullshit, I'm taking my match back, and then Rock really took exception with Cody saying, you know, your grandparents would be rolling over in their graves if they knew what you were doing right now. Didn't like Cody talking ill of his family. (laughs) He said all the people defending Cody saying they didn't talk bad about my family. Shut your mouth. And then in the very end, he said, Cody, fuck your story, which was amazing. He also took time during the promo to talk shit about Seth Rollins. I ran some clips of Seth Rollins saying we don't need the rock. And the rock says, listen, I'm now on the board of directors of TKO. You need the rock. Netflix wouldn't have signed a five billion dollar deal. They wouldn't have asked for Seth Rollins as champion. They were asking about The Rock. This is something that I wanted when Rock went heel to get TKO Board of Directors Rock. I wanted corporate Rock. That's what this promo was. It was business guy Rock flexing that he is now the boss there. And I thought we would get that last week and maybe Maybe we'll get that on SmackDown tonight as I'm talking right now. Again, you'll get my thoughts on that on the Going and Raw podcast on Monday. So be sure to sub over to that channel while you're subbing over here at WrestleJuice <coughs> as I cough. So a couple of things that I really love about this promo is, of course, he talked about the stuff that we wanted to know. He sort of put the pieces together, which leaves a really, really good question Was this the plan all along or is the reporting on it true that the idea was they would do Rock versus Roman and then they pivoted? Was Cody Rhodes' performance on SmackDown where he looked apprehensive about taking a back seat? Was that a performance? Was that real? Man, a lot of questions. A lot of questions that I have about the creative process here. He said something else really, really interesting about Seth Rollins, though, and that was... Seth, if you don't watch your mouth, read between the lines because I am blurring them right now. As the boss, I can make sure that somebody else gets your title. Of course, Seth Rollins has a match against Drew McIntyre coming up at WrestleMania. There's been, I've seen some speculation that we might get some CM Punk involvement, maybe as a special guest referee, maybe not. I don't know what he can do with his arm situation, but... Roping Drew McIntyre in. Think about this. The bloodline helped Drew McIntyre against Cody Rhodes. Now The Rock is saying somebody else can get that title thanks to me, Seth. Is The Rock going to direct the bloodline to help out Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania and rob Seth of that title, thereby setting up Seth Rollins' involvement in this Bloodline storyline, which sort of exists at the very, very top of the card. Arguably, that's a losing that World Heavyweight Championship to Drew McIntyre because of the Bloodline is a promotion for Seth Rollins to be up there mixing it up in a real way with the Rock and Roman Reigns. As of me filming this right now, we still don't know what that match is going to be that involves Seth Rollins, if there is a match, or if he's just going to be in Cody's corner, if it's going to be a tag match or what. But if that happens at WrestleMania, that sets up Seth Rollins for a bigger role. He already has a ton of history with Roman Reigns. He's burning some bridges with The Rock. He's aligning with Cody Rhodes right now. I don't know how this is all going to play out, but it's honest to God, one of the most intriguing stories and the perfect way to sort of turn the corner on this bloodline (coughs) storyline. My only, my only complaint, and hopefully it'll be rectified tonight, is that The Rock is definitely moving into that lead position of the bloodline. Granted, he's The Rock, 
Of course, he's moving in the lead position because he's the rock. He is the boss. But I'd like to hear more from Roman Reigns. I want to get Roman Reigns' side of all this. I want to get his thoughts on all of this. I want to get his interaction with the rock. And again, maybe we'll get that on SmackDown tonight. But I thought this promo was absolutely stellar. It, man, look at that right there. Can you see it? I don't know. I don't actually have goosebumps. And if I do, it's probably because of this fan over here. But uh, I really liked it. And uh, and yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this rock promo in the comments below. And uh, yeah, enjoy SmackDown. I know I'm going to because this is a hell of a ride to WrestleMania. I know I sound like a dork right now, but I'm just a fan of wrestling, man. And they're giving me a lot to enjoy right now. Uh, also, uh, Sunday. AEW Revolution, Larson and I will be watching that live over at youtube.com slash Stephen Larson and of course at the twitch.tv forward slash Stephen Larson. So hopefully we will see you guys there on Sunday. Uh, until next time, we'll see you guys around. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe.